up. Harry, I don't the door, Timmy. I need to get back to work. Maya? Oh, the kid must have overheard us. Figured out we're using him to rob the joint. Timmy won't help bad boy steal. Well, you might as well. You already broke into the store. And that makes you a burglar. Timmy didn't mean to burgle. He thought he was helping. It won't look that way to the cops when they see what Big Brother saw. Antwerp, you're busted, so you might as well go all the way. Timmy's been good ever since he's been a real boy. He's going out the way he came in. Back off, Paul! Don't even think about coming out here. Timmy's not scared. He knows. There's got to be a way to make him do what we want. Excellent. Yo, Timmy, if you don't let us in to clean out the cash, the mutt gets it. Put Toto down! He's Timmy's friend! Well, Timmy's friend ain't in Kansas anymore. So to let us in? Or Toto's roadkill? No! Don't hurt Toto! Or what? Or... Or... <laughs> Thought so. Now open up or say bye-bye to the Bow Wow. He usually helps Timmy think, but he still doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want to help bad boys and end up on cops, but he doesn't want them to hurt Toto either. Timmy doesn't know what to do. He needs someone who understands how much he loves that pooch. Someone. Who knows what to do? <sighs> Timmy's friend, the angel girl. He's never been more happy to see her. Can the angel girl zap those guys outside? They're mean and sneaky. I'm sorry, Timmy. I can't interfere. Maybe seeing an angel will make them repent. Only you can see me, remember? All right. Who's the kid talking to? Himself, Pinhead. Haven't you noticed how he talks to himself? He is one weird dude. Those boys tricked Timmy into breaking into here. They want you to open the door so they could break the Lord's commandments and steal. But Timmy refused to help, and they said they'd kill Toto if he doesn't. I know you love that little dog, and I don't want him to die. But what can Timmy do? It's not my place to tell you, Timmy. You're a real boy now, with a real conscience. Let it be your guide. How? Your conscience is like... God's voice in your head, telling you right from wrong. If you listen to that voice, you'll do the right thing every time. Thanks, Angel Girl. Now Timmy knows what to do. Thanks for helping Timmy understand his conscience. You're welcome. Godspeed in your quest to save charity.
to me or unlock the door. It's about time you got moved. Mark. Go, go. To me, please. Just give me cash. Come on. Go, there you go. Look at all this loot. <laughs> we may even give you a cut. What did you just do? Nothing. Timmy and Joey will be leaving. Think you can, kid. You get ideas to the cops. Timmy won't. You got that right. You and the mud aren't going anywhere. 